So I want to talk about this question that appeared at the end of a half yearly year 11 test in extension one, and it had on the number line the, the points between six and 14 shaded in, okay? And then it said these were the solutions of the following inequality. And then the question was to find A. And then find B. Yeah, and it was worth about, you know, two marks, which in the exam might have been on average worth uh, about two minutes or three minutes of your time. But it was towards the end, so this is usually a... Um, something that you'd allow more time for, even though most people have less because they didn't necessarily leave that much time for the end. And I think I'm not going to explain all the ways of doing it. I'm just going to go through sort of uh, the instinctual reaction to this kind of thing. So I think um, if you realize that an absolute value sign means distances, um, so, for example, the absolute value of x is the distance from 0 to x on the number line. So, the absolute value of x minus a is the distance from x to a on the number line. And we're just saying that the distance from a is less than or equal to b. So since that distance on the right and distance on the left is all the same, um, then A must be actually the middle of 6 and 14, which is 10. Okay. And so it's saying that 6 and 14 and everything in between are all the points for which its distance from 10 is less than B. Okay, so that makes b actually equal to 4, you see, because 14 and 6 are 4 away from 10. So if, if, you, if, you, if you kind of have that intuition about the absolute value symbol, then you can get these two numbers in a matter of seconds. Okay. But if you didn't, then you know what, you might have to um, try to piece it together bit by bit. 